I got 1,000 subscribers! I'm really, really, really thankful for you. If you're a subscriber, you're very special to me. Thank you for following me. Whilst I'm a very small YouTuber, I'm really thankful for all of you. And it just encourages me to keep going. Thank you guys so much. Hello? Oh my gosh, we're all here. Oh, congratulations, Demetrian! Oh, thank you! My family are all here! This is the first time we're all together. <laughs> my phone died in the middle of the FaceTime so I'm waiting for it to charge while I do that I'm going to do my journaling in the morning as I always do I journal every day so you're probably sick of me journaling but it's also a reminder to journal because I really think journaling has really great effects you sometimes feel like time flies so quickly and you don't even remember where time's gone or what you actually did in a month but writing it down in a journal and then rereading it a year later or like a few months later and seeing how much you've accomplished all your worries then were nothing now for example like i have this one so i bought this recently in one of my other vlogs i just started it in february it's been one month so let's see what my worries were in february and see if they've changed so i was worried here i wrote kind of subscriber counts has been 966 for the past week um, but it's okay i'll keep going and there'll be progress hopefully and now i've got 1000 subscribers so just i think being consistent working towards your goal even though you don't see that much progress it's okay just keep doing it as long as you like doing it i started making youtube videos when I was in secondary school, I think when I was 12, 13, I made a lot of singing covers and playing guitar, dance covers, and just really weird, cringy stuff. And I just loved doing it. I didn't do it for anyone. I didn't want to be famous. I didn't want to get money. I didn't want anything. I just did it for myself. And it was a way for me to have fun and be creative. And it was my safe space. Only my close friends knew about it. And then I started medicine. And once I started trying to work towards my dream to be a doctor, I had to put that aside. And then now that I've got graduated and I'm a doctor now. I'm very blessed and grateful for my degree and I'm just so proud of myself but also I wasn't fully happy and there was something missing in my life and I think that was my creative side that I've kind of put on hold and things that I loved when I was younger like singing, dancing, playing the guitar, making videos, filming, exploring different places. Reading kind of things that I want to read, not just textbooks and information for my job. So YouTube is kind of helping me express myself and not care what people think and just do what I love doing. I'm gonna call my family now my phone's charged. For free? For free! I was like, what? 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 <laughs> Every time Kyle is angry, I'm just gonna get the camera and point at his face. <laughs> yeah, I just finished the bagel. I'm so hungry. I am going to make mango sago. Woo, woo, woo. Mango coconut sago. I got the ingredients. There's only three ingredients. I was inspired by Katie when I was in Glasgow to see her on my one of my previous vlogs. And yeah, I wanted to make it at home because I was craving it. The ingredients. Some sago. 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 And then we have some ripe mangoes. The sweet and aromatic mangoes. Last thing is some coconut milk. And then also some water. So maybe, yeah, four ingredients. Still less than five, which is really good. I don't know how to make it. Katie told me, but I'm the type that I get scared. Like, I can't just wing it. So I'm gonna search a recipe and then I'll link it down below for you guys. Let's first make 
the sago. It has like a, it actually has cups on the side of the pot. This has six, so that will do. And let's just bring it to a boil. Stove stopped working. For six cups of water. Mmm, it's really sweet. Mm. It's really, really, really sweet. Isn't it really sweet? Yeah. Yeah? Wait, what, what's my skill? Like, if you had to like rank people's skills in terms of cooking, how would you rank them? Like the best chef in the whole world is 10. What do you think I am? One. <laughs> yeah, I'm a one. Okay. I'll just do half. So excited to eat the mango. Psycho. Ooh, it's ready. It's so gloopy now. And then three minutes. We have an issue. We don't have a strainer. <laughs> Oh, How did I do that? You only said like three. <laughs> Look, it's so clear. Ooh, I'm so excited to eat it. It's a lot actually. This can last us a lot of meals. I don't know how much sugar I should put. I'll just keep tasting it until it tastes nice. <laughs> I like cinnamon. I love cinnamon. You never know. Maybe you shouldn't add cinnamon, but I just like love it. Done. Just put everything in. Oh, the pot's gonna explode. Wow. That looks so good though. Done. Yeah. Okay, cut. It's done. Good? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Little spill. Oh. Good? Mm -hmm. Like a long stuff. It's a really tough challenge for me. My heart. I'm really warm. And it's so cold here.
most appetizing, but it's quick, it's easy, it has protein, it has your veggies, carbs. It's so big. <laughs> oh, it's a lot, but it's a healthy, kind of healthy ramen. Mm. It's really good. Jun is quite nice. I'm just eating from the pot because I don't want to wash too many dishes. Oh no, I can't watch a drama. I cannot. A lot of people are watching this, but no, I'll get too obsessed. Should you just watch it? I'll start one and I only watch maximum two episodes every day. Okay, I'll watch it. I'll watch it. <laughs> I'll watch it. I don't know how Korean dramas are so wholesome. <laughs> I'm just funny. Oh, I just, I love it. I respect myself enough to exercise, eat healthy, and take care of myself. Today has been great because I reached 1,000 subscribers. I learned a new recipe, even though it was simple and very easy to make. I'm glad that I'm improving my cooking skills even a little bit. I'm just gonna finish this. Good night, I'll see you tomorrow.